Module three, lesson three. The objective: add fractions with unlike units using the strategy of creating equivalent fractions. We'll be using a pictorial approach. Let's go ahead and look at two thirds plus one fourth. Here, we'll go ahead and model two thirds. And we'll do so by dividing vertically. We have to draw two lines to divide this in two thirds. And then we're looking at two of those parts. In our other rectangle, we'll go ahead and model what we're going to do with that one fourth. And in doing this, we'll go ahead and divide it horizontally. We're looking at one fourth. So we have to draw three lines to go ahead and divide it into four parts. And then we're only looking at one of those parts. So this here is two thirds, and this here is one fourth. You will notice that this does have four parts, however, we're only looking at one of those parts. This here was two thirds, and this here was one fourth. We need to be able to create like units to be able to add these together. So we had our model, and we're looking at two thirds first, where it is that we divided it vertically so that we would get um, that model and that pictorial model in two thirds. Then we divided it horizontally um, into four parts. How many parts is that all together now then? If we look at this model here, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. If we were to still look at two thirds here, then we would go ahead and be looking at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we had divided into twelfths. So this here is eight twelfths. Two thirds does equal eight twelfths. If we do the same thing with one fourth, so we had that divided horizontally for the force, and then we divide it into three parts by drawing those vertically. If we're looking at that same amount there, that's one, two, and three. So that one fourth equals three twelfths. At that point, we can go ahead and add those together. We have two-thirds equaling eight-twelfths. We have one-fourth equaling three-twelfths. And eight-twelfths plus three-twelfths is eleven-twelfths. And as we see right here, this is after we wrote those equivalent fractions for two-thirds and one-fourth. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and we had divided this into 12 parts, so that is 11 twelfths. The whole equation again is 2 thirds plus 1 fourth equaling 11 twelfths. For this problem, we are looking at 2 fifths plus 1 thirds. You'll notice that we do not have like units. Let's take a look at 2 fifths first. And so for 2 fifths, We'll go ahead, and we're talking about fifths, so we'll go ahead and divide this first rectangle here into fifths by drawing those four lines. As you see here, we have one fifth, two fifths, three fifths, four fifths, and five fifths. And we will be looking at two of those fifths. So this here is our model for two fifths. To look at our model for one third, we drew these ones vertically, so we will draw these ones horizontally for one third. 
we have to divide it into three parts. And then we would be looking at one of those parts. So this here is one third. Let's make like units. So initially we had two fifths and then we divided it into thirds and partitioned into thirds. If you take a look at that there, we would have like units there of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. That means we have 15 or fifteenths, and we're still looking at two-fifths. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6 fifteenths. When we're looking at one-third here, we're going to get that equivalent fraction for one-third. Initially we had that thirds partitioned into thirds, and then we'll go ahead and partition into five parts there vertically so that we have fifteenths. And again we're looking at one-third of that, just as before, one-third there, one-third there. That one-third, though, is equal to one, two, three, four, five fifteenths. So what we were working to solve, two-fifths plus one-third, we get like units there of six-fifteenths plus five fifteenths, which equals eleven fifteenths. And this makes sense that we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, eleven fifteenths there. Our whole equation again is two fifths plus one third equaling eleven fifteenths. We got like units there to be able to add them. Okay, your turn to try. We would first make a rectangle for one third. We could divide that vertically there so that we have thirds. And then that would be one third there. And then we're adding that together to one fourth. So we draw another rectangle. And this time, we divide it into force, and we're only looking at one of those for one-fourth. And then we need to have like units. That's why we have an arrow here, where we're looking at that one-third right there again. But this time, instead of thirds, we're dividing it into force horizontally, so that we have... One, two, three, four, and four, and the total there is twelve. So we have four twelfths there. One third does equal four twelfths. For the one fourth, we had force to begin with, and then we divide that by thirds vertically into three columns there. So we're looking at 1, 2, and 3, so that 1 fourth equals 3 of those, and 3 of those in particular is 3 twelfths. So we're looking at 1 third plus 1 fourth equaling those equivalent fractions of 4 twelfths plus 3 twelfths, which does equal 7 twelfths. The whole key to all of this is to get like units. And this is how we set up pictures where we had divided vertically first and then horizontally for each of those and to convert to be able to get like units.